Okay, welcome back to the second session of grid view binding with drop down list. In the previous session, what we did was like uh, created a database. One second, we created a database, we added some values, configured connection string on when our web.config, and apart from that, we bound bind the whole drop down to our database correctly, right? and apart from that we did bind the drop down as well so now the next thing is to load a grid view right so in order to load a grid view what we'll do is I have to stop first stop restore okay so in the previous video I had commented because I have not written any method for load grid view so now my grid view is ready so it's pretty simple what I have to do is grid view 1 dot data source okay dot data source is equal to again the grid view requires the whole bunch of data right so this method provides load data itself gives me the whole data set so I'll say simply something is not working control C control V load data and in the end I'll say grid view one dot data bind right so this will load my grid view so let's run and check and hopefully it works fine so as you can see okay I got bad design let's check my design for the while let's let me change the design design doesn't look good so I'll auto format I'll choose a professional I'll say apply I say okay and let's run one more time so really yes and let's set a fire again so as you can see now my drop down looks pretty nice but now the important thing is when I change my drop down suppose uh, I mean I choose panda in my grid view I should get only this record rest all should be gone if I choose rock I should get the rock star apart from that all should be gone right so what exactly I need to do for that I need to write a code on the change of this guy right so what I'll do is I'll double click on this guy okay I think I gotta stop control shift build stop and when I cl double click on this it generates an event for me that on change event I can take an action whichever I require right so on change of this what I'll be what I'm gonna do is on the change of this as you remember the data text field is the value which I'm showing to you guys and the data value field is behind the scene as an ID of a user it means <coughs> this is the value which you guys are seeing at the front end the ID is something which is at the back end which I need to supply as a data text field I mean data value field okay so what I'll do is I'll create an overload for this guy why I'll tell you in a minute okay and overload of this what I'll do is I'll supply an ID so it will be int ID okay and I'll, I will change my query to something like this I hope you can see it select so star from user then I'll say where ID is equal to double quote double quote in between plus plus and I'll pass the ID so my query is ready nothing much I created an overload for load data as simple as that right so when I pass an ID to this function it will get me only that record specifically if I pass ID 1 so I'll get a rocks record if I'll pass ID 2 I'll get Jigs record and so that would be Jigs or something like that right so what we'll do is we'll create uh, one more check load grid view okay but hang on but to bind a grid view we already have a method called as load grid view so first let's go by a simple way what I'll do is I'll create one more overload for this load grid view guy again I'll pass an integer to this guy I'll pass as ID and this ID will be passed over here okay control KD control shift build everything works fine now when they change event all I have to do is call uh, a function called as load grid view right because what I'm expecting is that when I change this guy I should get so I'll pass the data value field 
okay it's an I hope it should work control shift pill and it's kind of crying okay okay I need to pass as int dot parse so it is int dot parse and then I need to supply a value right control kd control shift pill okay now it works right so let's run as you can see this is what I have but when I change the jig okay 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 there's one more property I need to set this is very tricky thing generally we forget in UI if you see this guy it has a property called as why can't I touch it enable pushback you need to select this guy in order to cause a pushback right so let's hit the pushback now so now if I change the value of this guy it will cause a pushback and it will fire the change event on which you will be passing an ID which was correctly passed ID DW value data value field what happened just okay something stop first of all I gotta stop the real users dot okay selected now not not select index selected value I'm sorry I bound the wrong property so let's run one more time okay and now let's try panda and as you can see when I say panda it will pass the ID 3 over here this guy will call this guy with an ID 3 if uh, let's debug I have a little bit of time so let's do it again right in debug you can understand pretty much easily so let's say I choose rock pot okay when I choose rock pot I'll hit next I cannot debug and I'll say F11 right step into F11 but as you can see I hopefully you guys can see the value is if I say uh, let me copy this value I think control C then I'll say control alt I that's my command window I'll paste the value and I'll check right now the value is 4 so you have understanding now that value is 4 right so 4 has been passed correctly now I again hit F11 so I'll go over here this is my overloaded method right I see the ID as 4 hopefully you guys can see then I'll go here okay and it will call a load data which is again a overloaded method we got two methods so most of it will come here not here F11 so it came here and as you can see okay now the whole data set is filled and it is returning a DS but before it returns you should see the data hopefully you are able to see this and when you say F5 it will simply bind the grid view and you can see the expected output right so hopefully it gives you idea how it works and and how it needs to be done apart from that I have still time we can optimize this thing so let's optimize what we'll do is we'll I mean just forget it I mean you guys can handle it right okay that's it thank you